The Kannada script IAST, Kannada Lippi, is an abugida of the Brahmic family, used primarily to write the Kannada language, one of the Dravidian languages of South India, especially in the state of Karnataka. Kannada script is widely used for writing Sanskrit texts in Karnataka. Several minor languages, such as Tulu, Konkani, Kodava, Sankheti, and Bari, also use alphabets based on the Kannada script. The Kannada and Telugu scripts share high mutual intelligibility with each other, and are often considered to be regional variants of single script. Other scripts similar to Kannada script are Sinhala script which included some elements from the Kadamba script, and Old Pagan script. Used in Burma, the Kannada script Aksaramali Aksaramali or Varnamale Varnamale is a phonemic abugida of 49 letters, and is written from left to right. The character set is almost identical to that of other Brahmic scripts. Consonantal letters imply an inherent vowel. Letters representing consonants are combined to form digraphs atoksara atoksara when there is no intervening vowel. Otherwise, each letter corresponds to a syllable. The letters are classified into three categories, svara svara vowels, vyanjana vyanyana consonants, and yogavahaka yogavahaka semiconsonants. The Kannada words for a letter of the script are aksara akshara, akara akara, and varna varna. Each letter has its own form akara akara and sound sabda sabda, providing the visible and audible representations, respectively. Kannada is written from left to right. History The Kannada script derives from the old Kannada script, which evolved around 10th century as the continuation of the Kadamba alphabet of the 4th century. This evolved from the ancient Brahmi script of the 3rd century BCE. This is debated as recent excavation has led to Talagunda inscription of 370 AD to be the oldest available. Over the centuries some changes have been made to the Kannada script. These changes consist of Modification of existing glyphs. In the early Kannada script, no orthographic distinction was made between the short mid e, o, e, o, and long mid e, o, e. However, distinct signs were employed to denote the special consonants viz., the trill r, rather retroflex lateral la and the retroflex rhotic la found only in South Indian languages, by 5th century. Introduction of new characters. Kannada script includes characters like c, sa. Sa r, r l, l l, l e, i o, o m, m a, a, and Mahaprana characters like k, ka ga t, cha d, ja t, da d, da 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 p, fe b. The introduction was done so that Sanskrit and loanwords into the Kannada language from the donor language Sanskrit could be written using the Kannada script. These changes have facilitated the use of the Kannada script for writing many of the literary Indic languages, including Sanskrit. Topic. Obsolete Kannada letters Kannada literary works employed the letters ra transliterated r or rh and la transliterated l, lh or zh, whose manner of articulation most plausibly could be akin to those in present-day Malayalam and Tamil. The letters dropped out of use in the 12th and 18th centuries, respectively. Later Kannada works replaced rh and lh with ra, ra and la, la respectively. Another letter or unclassified vyanjana consonant that has become extinct as nh or in. Likewise, this has its equivalent in Telugu, where it is called nakara palu. The usage of this consonant was observed until the 1980s in Kannada works from the mostly coastal areas of Karnataka, especially the Dakshina Kannada district. Now, hardly any mainstream works use this consonant. This letter has been replaced by n, consonant n. Topic: <laughs> Kannada script evolution. The image below shows the evolution of Kannada script from prehistoric times to the modern period. The Kannada script evolved in stages. Proto Kannada, pre Old Kannada, Old Kannada, Modern Kannada. The Proto-Kannada script has its root in ancient Brahmi and appeared around the 3rd century BC. The pre-Old Kannada script appeared around the 4th century AD. Old Kannada script can be traced to around the 10th century AD, whereas modern Kannada script appeared around the 17th century AD. Vowel letters 
There are 13 vowel letters svara svara. When a vowel follows a consonant, it is written with a diacritic rather than as a separate letter. <inaudible> Yogavaha The Yogavaha part vowel, part consonant include two letters The Anasvara, am am The Visarga, a a Another two Yogavaha used in Sanskrit, but present in Kannada script, are known as Ardhavasarga The Jihavamulya the Upadmaniya Topic Consonant Letters Two categories of consonant letters Vyanjana Vyan Jana are defined in Kannada the structured consonants and the unstructured consonants Topic Structured Consonants The structured consonants are classified according to where the tongue touches the palate of the mouth and are classified accordingly into five structured groups. These consonants are shown here with their IAST transcriptions. See place of articulation for more information on tongue positions. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Unstructured consonants. The unstructured consonants are consonants that do not fall into any of the above structures. Ya ya, ra ra, ra ra, obsolete. La la, va va, sa sa, sa sa, sa sa, ha ha, la la, la l, obsolete. Topic. Consonant conjuncts The Kannada script is rich in conjunct consonant clusters, with most consonants having a standard subjoined form and few true ligature clusters. A table of consonant conjuncts follows, although the forms of individual conjuncts may differ according to font. Pronunciation of letters Writing order Akshara Written Kannada is composed of akshara or kaganita, corresponding to syllables. The letters for consonants combine with diacritics for vowels. The consonant letter without any diacritic, such as ka ka, has the inherent vowel a a, this is called durga durga. A consonant without a vowel is marked with a killer stroke, such as kk. This is known as harasva hrasva. The formations shown boldface above are seldom used in the normal course of the language. <laughs> numerals The decimal numerals in the script are Topic Transliteration Several transliteration schemes, tools are used to type Kannada characters using a standard keyboard. These include Baraha based on ITRANS, Pada software and several internet tools like Google Transliteration, Quillpad predictive transliterator. Nudi, the government of Karnataka's standard for Kannada input, is a phonetic layout loosely based on transliteration. In popular culture Due to its resemblance to an eye and an eyebrow, the Kannada letter dida is used in a popular emoticon called the look of disapproval, displayed as de underscore de, used to convey disapproval or contempt. Similarly, the akshara rrrr, a has been used in emoticons to represent a monocle, while dida has been used to represent a tearing eye. Unicode Kannada script was added to the Unicode standard in October, 1991 with the release of version 1.0. The Unicode block for Kannada is U plus OC80 U plus OCFF. 
Topic See also PYU script Goikanadi Bhataprolu script Kadamba script Kannada Braille Kannada grammar Kannada literature Kannada poetry Lari Official script